So, shit's about to get fire real quick. Um, obviously, I did my protesting on Friday. That went pretty well. I had a lot of people show support. And had a couple people record me. And obviously, they're sharing with somebody. And all that good stuff. And then the owner comes out and says, Please give me three days to think about what I can offer you that you just leave me alone. And three days later, he says, I got nothing to offer you. <laughs> these motherfuckers so I'm gonna go out there with the same sign I had last time I'm gonna make a new sign and I'm probably gonna be back out there on Friday um, experiencing my first day out on the streets on was that Sunday night um, was a learning experience sleeping on a rock is not no matter how flat and perfect that rock may look it's not what you may think <laughs> Like, I just used to be able to sleep anywhere as a kid. I just can't believe that a rock was so difficult. Like, it was the perfect rock. I woke up and my back was just like, oh, fire. But maybe that's just something I get used to. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have that same sign. But this next sign I'm going to have, like, when I'm standing outside in front of Chick-fil-A, anytime a kid's walking in the door, I'm going to be yelling from the streets, Pussy, bitch, faggot, Jew, whatever. Like, fuck yo kids and fuck you too. White Christians don't love anyone but Chick-fil-A because they are anti-black, anti-gay, anti-everything. Typical white Christians are the worst things in this world. Like, shit's about to get real, people. Anyone that wants to fight, I'm not leaving. Like, if they want to come fight me... Uh, I mean, my goal is going to be to neutralize the situation and potential, like, from the past fights I've been in, I've only punched one person in the face, and every other time, either I lost the fight or I held the dude on the ground, and, like, I said, you done yet, bitch? And so, that sounds kind of fun. Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm not breaking the law. And I'm pretty sure as long as I'm protesting, like, I'm allowed to say whatever I want. It says you're allowed to break the law when you're protesting so long as they can't prove immediate physical threat. And the only person that's under immediate physical threat in this situation is going to be me. There may be some crazy mofos out there that just say, fuck this guy, let's go get him. And we'll see what happens. But I'm pretty sure that's the right way to go. I can't... Like, I, I, this isn't about just getting... Like, because in order to get people to follow me, I got to have a platform that they can go to. I got to have the petition details that they can sign. I got to have a lawyer that they can donate, donate to that's suing corporate, that's already involved. Like, in order to have that platform already built, like, it's going to take me probably... Mm, on the low end, 2000 On the high end, 5000 I mean, on the high end, 10000 if we're talking about a website. But I don't know if I need a website. But 5000 probably going to be pretty realistic just to talk to three or four lawyers and find out who actually believes in what I'm about to be doing. So, yeah. This next Friday protest is disrespect for everyone. <laughs> Not just Chick-fil-A this time. I'm a fucking shit on the clients too. And it's legal, so I don't think they can fucking say a thing about it, do a thing about it, except if they want to break the law. And if they want to break the law, I will open them to not breaking law because consensual fighting in Arizona is legal. So if somebody wants to fight, I will say this is a consensual fight. You have the right to fight me, but you have to throw the first punch. Yada, yada, yada. And we'll just let it happen however it happens. I mean, the two best case scenarios out of this is my YouTube goes viral. I win a couple fights and people are like, damn, this guy really is gangster. Or somebody just fucking kills me. <laughs> Only options. Anything else? What a fucking, what a fucking mistake or a waste of my time. Waste of my fucking time. Um, 
finished court yesterday. It was good. I, I basically said nothing and just stood in front of the judge, said, yes, that's my birthday, and then walked the fuck out. And they were all happy for me. They were all clapping for me as I walked out because I was one of the guys who got the chip and got to walk away and all those good things. But, yeah, like, there's nothing looming over my head. There's nothing on my calendars now that I don't have a job. So I'm 100% free from the courts, from everything now. And I was actually telling myself a couple months ago that, like, I was thinking about going back to the Mormon churches and start protesting there. And, like, maybe just being part of the services and forcing them to call cops on me because supposedly I'm trespassed from there. Um, from some lawyer who's a part of the church but wasn't representing the church when he sent the letter. I don't fucking know. Not a big deal. But the point is, is now that, like, I was thinking, let me get my court stuff fi finished and then I can start thinking about stuff like that. But now that I've already got this Chick-fil-A stuff going on and the court stuff is finished, like, it just seems like it's time to let the fireworks begin. <sighs> Obviously, it seems like Mullen's about to squeeze. Um... We got the reverse split announced for a one to nine. We got the $25 million stock buyback. So let's just do an example because I know you guys pretend to care about math. So we know that they had 650 million shares outstanding at the record date. We know that there was another 1.8 billion they could ever dilute. So let's just assume they diluted 1.5 billion. That would put us at 2.1 billion total. Oh no, I actually think it's 1.8 billion after counting the 600 million. So they only got 1.4 billion. So we got the 650 million. They only have 1.4 billion left. Um, and so, of that 1.4, let's just say we've done a billion. So now there's 1.6 billion shares outstanding. They're gonna do the 10 to one reverse split. So now there's gonna be 165 million shares outstanding. And the stock price is gonna be $1. And they are gonna have in this scenario, another, another 300 million shares. At $1 a share, that's $300 million. Literally nothing. I mean, it's enough for them to play with the games for another month, but like when AMC squoze, it was at a $5 billion market cap, not a fucking $200 million market cap, which makes Mullen squeeze potential way fucking greater. And then on top of that, when it squoze, at $12 a share was the bottom of the squeeze, they had 80 million shares left to dilute. That's $960 million. So at the time they let AMC go up 500% in six days, they had only $960 million worth of dilution at the $12 mark. Well, when they reverse split to $1, at best they're gonna have $300 million, $300 million to dilute with a market cap that's 10 times smaller than the stock that they were protecting with the 960 million dilution. And now they're protecting this tiny market cap with 300 million dilution. Like, we are going up, we are squeezing a shit ton. Is the reverse split happening? It fucking looks like it. Do I hope it doesn't happen? Yes, but like, it feels like it's gotta happen today or tomorrow. I'm pretty sure tomorrow's like the cutoff date for the day we have to break a dollar. So, yeah. I mean, there's just a lot going on. And again, I never care how things play out. I just do what feels right in the moment of every single moment. And then as things change, I reevaluate and then I move forward. And so, like I said, I was going to be protesting. I did protest and then I quit protesting because the owner came out and fucking talked to me for an hour and said he's going to do something for me. And he didn't do nothing for me. And so now I got to reevaluate re the situation and the facts. And then I got to come up with a new plan and make sure I fucking, I dominate this shit. I just fucking download Snapchat. Like me and my girl, we're going to just talk on there and, and like Snapchat seems to be like the most annoying fucking thing in the world. I get the same fucking referral to add the same fucking people literally every couple days. And it's a hundred referrals a day and I'm just going to delete it because nobody fucking needs Snapchat. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, so hopefully while I'm protesting on Friday or before, Mullen's already squeezing and all that good stuff, but I'm not worried about it. I know that this is the last days, this is the last fights, and I just gotta keep going one day at a time, do whatever feels right, and very soon, the richest people in the world will be at my feet, kneeling to me, and the ones that don't are guaranteed death. <laughs>